Okay, and welcome to Scum. Today we're we're gonna go hunting for more. I'll put this away. That's cooked. That's the last of it, though. <coughs> you can relight this uh, this fire again. You get when it goes out. Um, you can light it again. So this is its second run. This was on all night. And uh, whatever time it is, it's like m almost midday. <clears throat> I'm at a hunter base. I'll show you where I am. See the bottom of C3? The blue triangle. There's a big town over there. There's a little town over here, too. Just, it's not a town. It's just uh, a house above the lake there. <clears throat> and I'm pointing at uh, the top of B3, right by where it says B3. It's probably the easiest base there is to break into and get to the the three uh, buildings, rounded top sheds with all the the stuff in them. Another one is at the top of C3. That's a little harder, and of course the air base is even harder. <clears throat> Uh, but this one I'm looking at in B3, right underneath the B3, the orange on that. I can't move the mouse there, uh, but that's uh, near me. So I got a town over here, um, a lake and a stream for water. Um, and I'm going to go hunting out here. There's a mule and a deer. I've been run over by the boar twice twice. It knocks you down. It takes about 30 health points. Um, it knocks you out. And uh, it knocked the gun out of my hand. And you could just go flat on your back and you think you're dead and you're waiting for the revive, but it just knocked you down. The first time it really shocked me. The second time I had to laugh because I knew what to look for. If you hear this galloping, it sounds like a horse. And it came charging out of the bushes at, at 90 miles an hour and just barreled right over me. I didn't even have time to move. It was that fast. So just, if you hear that galloping, just start running in some direction. I don't know. If you stand still and look around for it. See, I got a lake right here. And there's a couple, uh, there's a, a ranch over there. I guess you wouldn't really call it a ranch. A little farm couple houses, a house and a shed. <clears throat> and then the, the base is over there and the stream goes to a, another lake. So this is a really good area. There's some houses over there. I don't think that's the... I wouldn't be able to see it. No, that's some more houses. Because I'm looking right at the B3. That's a base. But it has a hole in the wall right across from those uh, those buildings where you get all the goodies, all the weapons and clothes. Not much ammo though. So turn up your volume and listen. The, the donkeys and horses and, and deer are really loud. The deer doesn't sound like a deer. But uh, you'll hear them. Stop and listen and look. I turn my volume way up. It's about 50. And then you can... I had the ACOG sight on this. The AKM. I like this AKM. It uses standard AK. What are we getting today? Donkey? I don't want to eat donkey. I want another deer. See, that's all the further I have to go to eat man kind of hoping for a deer though I took my raincoat off like this zombie came charging in a tent last night while it was raining I got this leather jacket I replaced my military shirt and uh, picked up a couple extra spots that's a donkey so I got this leather jacket on. The raincoat, this is stupid. The raincoat takes up two spots like that. 
you could fold that up and put it in your this big cargo pocket here in the one spot. Come on, that's ridiculous. Maybe this jacket would take up two spots, but not the really, the cheap poncho with the hood. Um, what was I going to show you? <clears throat> oh, if you see this diary, pick it up because that has like 30 pages in it. Paper for fire. You don't have to use your rags uh, that you need for bandaging. So if you see that diary, I was like, what's the diary for? Well, you seen those pieces of paper? Well, well, this has 30 of them. That's a lot of fires before you have to use rags or something. Uh, quick tip for you. Check your metabolism. Stomach zero. <clears throat> he eats a lot. Like 5,800 calories a day, man. But you're working hard. Oh, I was going to switch my cap. To now it's... I don't know why I kept this fishing hat. Nice and sunny out now. It always goes to the top left. So I don't want it there. Whatever. I know, my camos are mismatched. Who cares? <laughs> Eat donkey. Where's a deer? Should we look for a deer or take the donkey? See, this is a much bigger round than the... This is the full 762. The AKS 4U or whatever it is is a is cool little rifle, but for paratroopers and tank crews and stuff. But it's a 545 by 39 or something, and the the MP5 is a nine millimeter pistol round. It overwhelms people with its high rate of fire, but you saw that. What did I use? I had 21. Yeah, two rounds at a distance. And uh, it's got very uh, instinctive sights. It's like I said, I had the ACOG on here and I didn't like it. And then I had a hunting scope. I didn't like that either. I'm not Mr. Sm Sniper. This shotgun is, you'd wait for them to get close. And you zoom in like that. If you right click, just right click once. If you hold right click, it zooms in like this. What's this? Why does he have paw prints on him? Oh, you can track them. You can track them. That's it's pointing right at it. The blood spot and the that's right. I saw that before. Look at that. It's cool. I don't need that in an open field. That's how we like it. One and two. Chop chop. I lost my axe because I had it in the backpack and I homemade axe and when you use it and then you I'm, I lost a shotgun that way too if you have three things so if you're using the extra thing that you have in your backpack oh crap I can't fit this in there now well I have an animal I just don't know what I need it for I need the steaks that's what I need So there's three on a skewer or five on that or five on this skewer. And that takes what? What is that for smoking? Is that why you need all that? I had sea salt, I threw it away. I had those spices before too, I don't know. <laughs> This would be cool if you could find this portable gas stove. I guess you gotta find a grill. The the <coughs> most modern I've I've gotten to is the fire ring, and that's a pain. I'm trying to chop that, so I keep my axe in my storage box. I found a a two-handed, full-fledged axe, and I'm keeping it in my put. So I go and chop the wood, and when you pick up the wood, what I had done was chopped up a deer with my axe, and then I picked up the meat and ran back to base. And, of course, it dropped my axe when I started picking up meat. I usually take a leg and chop that up, eat about eight steaks out of that. Yeah, 
yeah, there's, oh man. Or you could do it like this. One, two, three. Well, that's okay. I got a couple fat down here I chew on once in a while. In my sweater. Now while you're here, make the bone needle. Um, I made this improvised water container before I went into town and found a bottle. And that's pretty easy with the bone needle. You can make this rope from tree bark. You don't have to find rope. You can make rope from tree bark right here. So if you, and you don't have to boil the water or anything. I'm I'm sure that's coming. You just go up to a lake or whatever. You can't drink this salt water, the seawater, if you're on the coast. You have to find a lake. There's wells. There's a blue pump handle, and then there's the old-fashioned well with a stone circle with a wood roof on it. You know. And you can just highlight this or your water bottle and then look at the well or water pump and it says F fill. So I figured that you'll figure it out. But while you're here, make the bone needle. It's handy to have. I found the sewing kit a, a while ago, so I'm keeping that. And I have a bone needle. I tested the storage box. I logged off and logged back on. And all my stuff was still in there. So I'm all set. This is all wasted. I guess you would get that much meat. You would get a lot of meat out of stuff. I don't know what to do with guts. Can you make something out of guts? I made the bone needle. I take a couple pieces of fat to chew on. I did have a skewer go bad. I didn't have the eat. You won't have the eat on it anymore. You'll just have examine, select, take, and hands drop when it goes bad. It doesn't say it's bad, but you don't have this these two anymore. So that was <clears throat> a couple days. So I still have three of this one left. And here's six more. So you won't you shouldn't starve. When I drink I filled this up with water a couple times now and drank all lime soda. When I drink it, it still says um, drank lime soda. See, put the knife away. The axe will drop on the ground when you arm anything else. Lime, see, it still says lime soda. But I filled that thing up at the lake a couple times. This is the best spot to live, man. I've been all over. Pretty much. The, the north is all mountains. I don't like that and cold. Um... And difficult bases to get into. I like the bottom half. B4, B3, B2, B1, A4, A3, A2, A1. You see in the, the bottom right of A2, that orange dot all the way at the end of that peninsula sticking out there that comes from A1? That's a lighthouse. And uh, I, was, I was there. I set up camp there on online uh, one of the servers I was playing on. I came across a newbie last night online in his uh, orange jumpsuit running by. I heard footsteps and I crouched down in a shed, you know. And he runs in the shed. I'm all camouflaged and it's dark and raining. He didn't even see me. I could have popped him right there because... I was armed up and crouched in, in a corner and, and behind a box and he but it was open to one side I mean I was up against the wall I could have I could have drilled him right there he didn't even see me he actually ran in the shed inches from me around the shed doesn't know what he's doing so he runs out he goes in the house and I said I was on mic hey man you didn't see me and he was on mic too he's from Australia and he goes, no, don't kill me, man, I'm new. And I'm like, so I went and got up and I walked in there and I was laughing. I said, don't worry, man. I got, I got better things to do. And he's telling me, and he's, don't kill me, man, don't kill me, man, I'm new. And I threw him a bag of chips and I said, uh, 
What do you need to know here, man? Um, because most people are kill on sight, and you're just running around like a spaz. And he goes, well, it's my first hour. I got another hour to decide if I want to keep it. And I was like, well, yeah, you should keep it. It's wor definitely worth keeping. What's my water at? Six? So I took him. We were. I was over in B2. Right in the middle of B2. Well, it's the ba. It's like the middle lower right. It, it makes the a big circle. You see that orange dot right in the middle of that like circle of roads, half yellow and half white. And that's a that's another hunter's camp I I camp at. Uh, but this was online, and that's where we were. And he said, I said "You want it? You go going for the air base, right? That's tough to get into." And he says, "Yeah, have you been there?" And I say, "Yeah, I go there in and out all the time. I got a way I go. I don't get." Uh, caught uh, but it took me a couple times to figure it out what you don't want to do is enter through the airfield side the runway side you want to enter next to the gate there's hole in the fence down the hill from the gate towards those three rounded top you know where the stuff is buildings you'll see them um, along some uh, you can run through the fence and up to some fuel tanks or whatever garbage is along the flight line there and you'll see the max coming and going. There's two of them. And if you time it just right, you got to run by the... And, and that's, of course, if you don't have zombies. Um, so prepare a weapon and time the max and then sprint in there. See if this works. Now it won't work, right? So I highlighted it, the bottle. Yeah, works perfectly. F fill. You don't see anything happening. Yeah, and you don't have to boil this or anything. They're just like, yeah, drink that. And this is a stagnant pond, so... Whatever. It's all good in the hood, man. You can look around while he's doing something. I think I'm gaining weight. It's <laughs> I have a... It shows you your percentage of body fat. Did that fill the bottle? Yep back up to 20 see that and you can just drink that over here it says storage fat seven kilograms I was keeping an eye on my uh, oh body fat percentage BFP right there 13.7 it went up one time that's a lot isn't it I guess that's average blood volume. Why do we need to know that, for God's sakes? You know what the olive bushes look like in the vitamin C rose hips bush? We can get it. You can't feel your energy. ENG is energy. That's food. This is rose hips bush. Very distinctive. You search it. You'll come up with uh, some rose hips you can eat for vitamin C. The olive bushes, uh, not all over, but in, the, on the coast, you find that a lot. It's just a supplement. You're gonna, you're gonna need to. You know, I don't like eating the zombies. I've been all around, and I noticed there's. There's a lot of deer and boar and horses if you want to kill a horse and eat it. That's bad enough, isn't it? I don't want to eat people. That's sick. See, vitamin C. See, there it is. Rose hips. Rose hall, rose hip is accessory food of the rose plant. Oh. Early summer, right? Whatever. Get you some vitamin C. But I have vitamins. I threw them on the ground. I just wanted to see if he chucked the bottle. And he threw it down and it disappeared. So hit up your... Uh, <coughs> um, uh, the cabinets in the bathrooms. For vitamins and antibiotics. 
you probably know that. Did I take the skin? Nope. Left the skin. And I don't know where that kill was. See, the fire disappeared. That was its second use, so it disappeared. There was a zombie body over here. He's gone. I got his leather jacket on. All these tents have stuff in them. This is the best one for loot. There was a shotgun in here. All the stuff has disappeared, so it should have respawned stuff. I dropped the stuff. So it'll res that always respawns a pistol. <coughs> I have enough magazines. To oh, I don't have the MP5 anymore. <laughs> I like my AKM much better. A much more powerful round. Do I need another mag? I have one in the rifle and two extra full. There was a shotgun. Oh, it was this crate. There was a shotgun in here. Nope. Nope. Well, maybe it hasn't had time to respawn. It's still saying nothing in it. But the stuff that was in it, I dropped. See, if you get the circle, whoosh, open it thing, that's, it respawned nothing. Okay, campfire ring. You want to see the campfire ring? Oh, you need eight rocks. I got eight rocks before, and then I went and got the logs. And most of the rocks disappeared when I came back because I had to like go over there and chop a tree. I guess the memory doesn't like doing that. So, f oh, I keep my axe in here because it takes up a lot of room in your in here. It takes up like eight boxes. So I made this uh, this crude little axe. I made this one improvised hatchet. Oh, uh, no. You got to have this red toolbox, not the little one. And, uh, I couldn't carry it, so I left it. And it's in, in town, if it's still there. It's a big town over there. So I lost it, and now you got to go to vicinity. This is how you get in your storage box. See? And you just drag and drop stuff in there. So, let me equip this. Well, now you can do one, two, see? And then it drops one. See, I want that in number one spot. So you use this axe, and then you go to pick up the wood, and he drops the axe. That happened with a shotgun. So I don't, it takes up too much room in your inventory anyways. I found a little hand axe. It's like, this is the big two-handled full-size axe. I found a little hand axe once. See, now he'll drop that when you go to pick up the logs. You need four logs. These make planks. But you gotta have an axe for trees. Otherwise you gotta hack down those, you won't get logs from those little uh, birches or whatever these are. You can chop those down for sticks, but if you need logs for a campfire or planks for the storage box, you gotta have an axe. So either make the improvised one or, I don't think you should need the toolbox, if you ask me. So this is where it sucks because if I pick up a log, I drop my axe. So I chop the tree. I run back over here and put my axe in the box. Which you do by standing near it, bringing up your inventory and going over to the vicinity tab. And you don't have to do that. 
you just drag it right from your hand in there. You don't have to see that it will make the noise, right? You don't have to drop this down every time. This just shows you what's in it. See, it went in. Silly, huh? Wait a minute. Is that morning? <coughs> yup. That's east. Okay, well, I'll have another one. You get two out of this. It takes so long to make. I come home way before sunset. See, watch the shadows from the east. <coughs> so, I don't know how to... I don't think you can bundle logs. You can bundle large wooden sticks, and you can bundle small, but you can't bundle logs. There's your box. And there's your shelter. Make the shelter and you'll respawn there when you die. Don't die. <coughs> <coughs> so, put some out. If you have time, and you have to have 75 points fame to, to do it also. So, you can't take these logs. These are for planks. You have to take this time. So you need four of these for the and eight stones for that circle fire fire ring I make it on open ground and it's going to uh, it, I just pop the ingredients down I just drag it drop it okay go back and get another one you can't know you can't take one in each hand and everybody's right-handed sorry Maybe someday. What did he do? Did he put it somewhere? Nope. Sewing kit. Carrot. Nope. <coughs> People have gardens outside the houses. It's hard to see. Most of the potatoes and carrots are low growing. But there's those melons are big things. So I go into town over there. It's a big town. I got a lot of stuff. And I got the base for everything else. And I got hunting in the lakes over here. Got it made. If there was a difficulty index, I would turn it up. Now you can make this. And then uh, not light it till nighttime. Or when you're going to cook. I got to try making a smoker. Because... This is still good. And my stomach is empty. Oh, time for a wee wee. So you hold down tab and this menu comes up. If you tap tab, you get this. Metabolism crafting inventory. And you can use your numbers too. Okay? So you exit tap tab. Now hold tab. And you have toilet. Click that. Click piss or poop. I guess you could get sick. Charcoal tabs, buddy. You have to hold down tab while you're doing this. You have to click toilet and then you have to click piss. P would be more gentle, wouldn't it? <clears throat> That's, I have, I'm, <laughs> I've noticed everything's in the green, so I'm okay. 75% <clears throat> of targets, uh, I don't have sugar. It's, uh, I'm way over on sodium, and that's going up. I don't know what I can do about that, man. I'm sweating it out. So, probably need to poop, too, or 58%. But, I, um... I really don't know what to do about that stuff. Zero carbs? See, that's protein is orange, carbs is green, and the rest is fat. That's my nutrition monitor. What's yours?
those just have to be close together in any order. You're going to craft it and it's going to appear to your right about a foot and a half away or half a meter if you're the rest of the world. Okay, four logs. Now when you craft it, it's going to, it doesn't, well it has to be within the vicinity, you know, to craft a uh, fire ring. And you need eight stones and gunpowder, which I have plenty of. Now you can switch these, see these little tabs for other things you can use, paper, rag, rag strips, tinder, which you make. But you got to have a cutting board. That's kind of silly. Break oil. Spelled wrong. They're Croatian, man. Gig and break. Or gunpowder. Which I have gun You'll always have rags, so don't worry about it. And this is your inventory grade out here. It lights up what you have of this up here. Get it? Okay, look at the ground. <coughs> I do the logs first because I had stones disappear. I think I told you that when I went to get logs. Great. That's going to be fun. Take it from your hand. Just drag it over there. Place it somewhere in the vicinity. I don't know how far this vicinity thing sees. Where's the rock, man? Small stone. You couldn't light up two for me, huh? Make this easy. Here, stony, 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 stone. The stones are always in the grass. I can see a million stones here, but no stones. You can always get one piece of wood, I forgot. You can always get one piece of wood from here, see? <laughs> but not more, that's it. Log pile gives up one log. It's just one? Well, it's a big one. Alright, a little faster, buddy. People are waiting. They're going to fast forward anyways. You'll see in a minute. No sense talking. You can fast forward, right? Yep, I know. I just hop over barbed bar, no problem. Of course, that's real. I do that all the time in my neighborhood. Ooh, 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 two rocks. F, F. One went somewhere into my inventory. It always goes to the upper left, so go look for it. Or is it the, the closest space to upper left. It goes from upper and to the left. And then it'll go to the right and then down in order. Oh, that's five already. We're almost there. <laughs> you can walk on these. Doop -de -doo. I found a car 98 in those towers. Always check those towers. You'll find boots, hats, knives, guns. Maybe the ammo. Probably not. There was some ammo on the table. So I tried that car 98. It holds five shots. Really old rifle. Bolt action rifle. On a zombie that was standing. He was far away but I hit him. And then he comes running at me. I hit him five times. It only has five shots. It didn't kill him. And I could tell I was hitting him because he'd stop and, and, you know, stumble and stuff when you hit him. And I had to pull out the, the AK and finish him. So I thought it was kind of ridiculous. So, no good on the car. I haven't tried the M1. Four, six, seven. What? It said right here? Yep. That's good. Nice and close. There you go. 
Okay, just put this stuff that doesn't even have to be that close. Okay, tab, crafting menu, fire ring. You got all the stuff. Pretty much does the same circle jerk with his hands when all his crafting. Okay, see it makes it to the right of you. See that? A little bit. This thing looks like it's already been used. Now. Um, it's already highlighted. See? Red. So what you got to do, I have the fire drill too. I just use the lighter. Those both, ha it has to be selected. That's all I'm saying, if you don't select it. Now one time I had it selected like that, but I also, for some reason, I had my soda bottle also selected and clicking around, and it wouldn't light. And I went back in here, what the hell's going on, what's wrong? And I said, oh, duh, I had three things selected. So it doesn't tell you what you're doing wrong, so your fire starter, whatever it is, and the fire ring must be uh, selected red. Then you look at it, you hold down F, and light fire is available. See that? So it's all set to go. All I gotta do is flick my lighter and click that. So it's all set to go. I didn't lose my axe. I didn't lose my mind. Well, maybe a little. Zero stomach, zero intestine, 58 colon. Um, I don't know how long these will keep. Now you need long sticks or you need to make this. I know. For long sticks is just a bush. Either of these will do. The green one or the brown one. They'll say cut. You can use this one, you can use this one. There's plenty of them around, they're everywhere. That just takes a knife. You'll get some long sticks, you'll get some small sticks. See it highlights it. Instead of picking it up, just open your inventory and look at the vicinity. It's easier to grab it. But you just want to stand there amongst the sticks and click on this first one, small skewer with meat. Now see it's selected the stick, long wooden stick, and three of the pieces of meat. That's why I took six. I ate one on the spot too, so. <laughs> well, no, I didn't this time, but I usually do. You can eat it raw, and you can drink water from the pond. Doesn't hurt you. So, just chop this. Now it's got another three selected, the other three. And another stick because that's laying there. See it's laying there right there. There's one. You can pick that up and take it over to the fire. I'll show you. Or you can uh, get them both done. When it's done it'll stick it in the ground next to this one. See there? Did I take them both? I think so. Anyways. Run, don't run with your meat. I'll just go ahead and show you if we can get this lit. Those were still highlighted so in your inventory so they they lit up. Now you have your meat. It does that automatically. So look at it. Hold down F again and see it says cook. I think if you make the uh, the one that goes up and over it holds five pieces of meat and that smokes them. But this, when you click cook, it sticks it in the fire like that, and then... <coughs> oh, it cooked both of them. Look at that. I picked up, and it cooked both of them. And when that little timer goes around, you're done. You can eat those. You can pick it up. You can hold down F and say eat. Pick up. That puts it in your inventory. I'm particular about where it goes, so I'll... That's the old one. The new one. Got two of those. I just do it like this. 
and those are the two just cooked. If I can still eat this one, I'll eat it. Oh, I should have clicked eat all. Then you don't have to do this three times. There is a selection for eat all. Okay, you gotta open. Now it's in your hand. You gotta open up your inventory. Right click on it. I'll just go ahead and eat it all. Cause I got room. Look at your stomach. That'll be about half full. Three steaks. Yep. There's that damn thing spying on me again. And that's that. Okay, what's my stomach? 56? I can eat more. This is easier when it's in your inventory than your hands. Now it's going to eat one unless you click eat all. I just go ahead and get rid of that. I'm not going to. If you eat too much, if it goes past 100, you just vomit. Uh oh. I'm going to vomit right on my fire. No. 110%. Here we go. Vomit time. So I overate. Sue me. I thought I overate to 107% one time in it. He, pew, he just did it automatically. You can hold down tab and choose vomit. Medical. No. <laughs> Why is it toilet? Okay. Well, I don't know how much he vomits. I think everything. It's holding at 108. It'll digest it. We're just, we're just a little fat right now. Did that hurt my health? Nope. Uh, I would usually have a drink after dinner, but I don't think I will now. Now that'll burn and go out. I haven't timed it. And then you can relight this. You can't relight the little improvised fire here. You can't relight this one. But it's quick and easy. Same deal. Make sure you got all your ducks in a row and lighter. They run off that big dinner. Well, actually, it was. Shoot. Time goes slow in this game. It's like actual time or something. You can watch the shadows move. It's very slow. It's like seven-eighths of the time or something like that. I don't know what it is. You could research it, but it's it's almost real time. Nah, it's just the same old pair of boots. I check them once. I found the car 98 up in that one straight ahead. And there was ammo on one of these tables here. So that's why I tried it on the zombie and didn't kill him. There's stuff in all these other tents. There'll just be a little something on the floor like a knife, there's a bayonet or a cap. But for kicks you can you can go into town, you can go raid the base for more ammo or clothes. Nope, it's not gonna give me another rifle. Anyways, when you run around you see those. It doesn't have ammo though. I found shotgun ammo in somebody's nightstand. I'd never seen that before, so that was cool. You don't have to raid bases, that's just what everybody does. And I have light here at night, these all these lights are. So this is a great place to live, except it's wide open to zombies. But and no rifle today. I don't even carry the pistol anymore. It's very ineffective. There's a hat. What's in here? 
the ground. Nothing. Anyways, check them out. <laughs> Why is he burning up so much stamina? Oh, going up ladders burns a lot of stamina. Check out that little farmhouse over there. Okay, so there's hunting and fire. I can see them from here. I'm going to go check them out. I don't need anything. I have everything right here. Uh, the next one I'll go over to the base. It's, but it's not very exciting. Unless you go to the airfield, that's exciting. That's taking your life in your hands. But I don't get killed there anymore. Live and learn. Watch the mechs a couple times, so I'm good. and they can see you pretty far if you go onto the base and you try and get close and watch them. Uh, you got to be careful. Uh, if they are shooting at you, zigzag and jump, and just outrun the zombies. They'll quit. Maybe one will tag along. You got to stop when you get down to like 30% stamina. Watch it, and then you'll have room to turn around and shoot them, or at least set up to fight them. But don't run yourself down to nothing and let him catch you. Alright. So for right now it's over and out. From scum. Oh there's a zombie. I had a stone spear. I threw it right through his thigh, and he still ran at me full speed. It was funny. Watch the effectiveness of this over the MP5. See that? You can set a single shot. It doesn't tell you. It just makes a click. Hear that? Push down on your center mouse button. And now it's back to auto. I think they said not all rifles have that. The fire rate. What's he got? Oh, a lot of work pants around. This guy don't got nothing. After you search them and it's all laying out there on the ground, just do the old vicinity thing again. This is best for everything. Those work pants got a lot of pockets. Those don't really look that color when you put them on. They're not like lime or anything. They're just an ordinary. I'm not going to put them on. I have boots I like. Waist bag. Yeah, nothing. I suppose you could collect nails and put those in a, in a club. But melee really sucks. You get the crap beaten out of you, man. They just come right up to you and they hit you like five to one. You're clicking, clicking, clicking and you're backing away. God forbid two of them and you can't uh, get you uh, somewhere in a room where you can't back up. Is that setting? That's setting. That's west. Yeah, that was the whole day. That is setting. And two of them, they got me in the woods outside the base. And do this shooting even though I shot him with the shotgun like this point blank it missed him it like clipped through him but you try and shoot like this it took four hits with the shotgun I missed so bad to get a zombie and he got to me and hit me I mean he didn't hurt me bad but, <coughs> but this way of aiming no right click just click it if you hold it it does this zoom in thing right you just right click it once real fast zooms in that's what they're doing and then you go back to third person this is really cool and if you're not on uh, in um, uh, what do they call it dynamic mode there you just want to hold the right click now you can go into dynamic mode by left clicking the fire button just click it once and then if you hold it down so if you're surprised 
you can just hold down the fire button and he'll do this but you can't unclick this with the fire button he'll shoot and then this right click can still go into the first person <coughs> so <coughs> I need a drink so V puts you into that and takes you out of it also one left click will put you into dynamic mode okay as the sun sets in scum I bid you a fair adieu mon frères I'm gonna check this out and get home before dark see ya